Hey, what's going on, everybody? Matt Holmes here, BodySynergyTraining.com and TacWads.com, coming to you with a daily video. Yes, I'm driving, but I'm paying attention to the roads. So, for all of those people that make want to make some comments, you can see I'm not really doing this. I'm actually watching the road while I drive right now. Uh, real quick, too, don't forget to sign up, tacwazcom slash motivation to sign up for more videos and get emails directly of them. Uh, these almost daily videos. So, uh, something I want to bring up, food for thought topic today. Also, happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, a topic that I was writing about in my journal and talking about with some friends is kind of when to be patient and when to be super persistent and not give up because it's kind of a tricky balance I think and I don't know the full answer I am still working on finding that balance between the two because I do agree there are times when you just need to be patient keep pushing and moving in the direction that you want but be patient and it will happen also a time when you need to be persistent and just not sit and wait for, not not necessarily wait and don't do nothing, but doing the things and letting it happen. Instead, you need to make it fucking happen and push and be persistent to get it to where you want to be, whether it's accomplishing something, setting up certain circumstances, things of that nature. There is that balance. Uh, I can tend to be a very impatient person, which at times works to my advantage of being persistent and impatient on things and making it happen. There's also a time I've noticed when that can also be a curse to me as well of being impatient and not letting it happen how it naturally should. And I tend to learn in the end of that where I'm being impatient, pushing, 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 and I've had it to where at the end it's like, oh, okay, all I needed to do was just keep moving in the actions forward of what I wanted and it happened how it was supposed to and it ended up working out better than what I was pushing for anyways. And then times where I pushed and was persistent and I should have been patient and I maybe missed a better opportunity that was going to present itself because I was pushing and pushing and pushing on the flip side of that there's been times where i made it happen and if i was just gonna let it sit and work out in its natural way the opportunity wouldn't have been there or it would have been missed or it wouldn't have worked out how i wanted uh i wouldn't have made it to that specific goal or a new better opportunity presented itself because i was persistent and pushed for what i wanted whether it was something material, something I wanted in my life, a goal, whatever that may be. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you, when you should or when you shouldn't be persistent or let things happen or be patient because I think that comes down to a lot of personal but being aware of it, learning in those circumstances and kind of letting yourself guide you in those, kind of trusting in your gut instinct and your heart and knowing okay, I need to just be patient, it's going to work out, it's going to be fine, just move in that direction, or I need to be super persistent right now, and I need to make it happen, because that's just how I feel, and what I know needs to be done deep down. Maybe it's not always going to be right, but when you trust your instinct and your heart, it's going to work out how you want, and that's the biggest thing, is trusting yourself and following within that instinct and what you feel inside, and going for that you know don't just sit by let things happen if it's something you really want and also don't push and push and push when you feel like okay I'm doing what I need to do the steps are coming together I need to just be patient and let that piece together how it naturally should so that's just some food for thought for today I hope everybody has a fun safe 4th of July and thanks for watching the videos. And again, questions, comments, always feel free to message me. And also go to tacwaz.com slash motivation and sign up for the videos. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.